Now, if you're working with a pre-built iBook, uh, one of the things I noticed is some people may have some pictures and such anchored, and that can cause some troubles. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this chapter, and let's say this is the Articles of the Confederation, and on, let's see here, oops, maybe it's a section I was looking at, and then I want to open this up. All right. So they're talking about the Articles of Confederation, and one thing, I like working at 75%. gives me a little bit, I can see pages before and after when I'm working. And let's say, let's say in here I wanted to add a picture. Now, when I click on the pictures in here right now in Interactives, um, you're going to notice on mine it'll say Anchored. Now, this one I don't need to move, and this one I don't need to move. And if they're in the beginning, it's not a huge deal. But ones that come later, um, we're going to want to switch anchor to floating because they might need to move. So I'm going to go through and select all the different anchored ones. Anchored means they are not going to move. That's exactly what anchoring means. And then we have, and I like looking at kind of the layout because if things change, now this right here is floating and this is floating. This right here is anchored, so I might need that floating. And this is floating. All right, so let's go back to the spot. So I went through and I insured. On this page, they talk about the Articles of Confederation. I want to bring in an image. So let me go back to get my image. All right, so let's say I want a picture of the Constitutional Convention. And I went and I found one on with Creative Commons. And I just want to place it up here. Notice it is wrapping around. Um, you can go to the edge, but you may not want to be exactly at the edge. It's nice to see a little bit of space up in here and over here. And it shifted things back. So just kind of take a peek around. Nothing happened here. On this page, uh, it looks... Like, let's see here. This, I might want to move this to the next page. What I do is I click on it. I go up to insert, and then I insert, um, if there are columns, I like it as a column break. If that doesn't work, then just do it as a page break. And then that brings that to the next page. Um, and then right here, there was a bit of a space and I might be able to fit it in here and because I I can move these down maybe a little bit these are two interactive let's see if I can move those and what do we have here I think I'd like to move this down below here and notice. So now I was able to fit it all in. Um, I probably need to go back and make sure pictures match and stuff, and stuff like that. But that is how you're going to deal with anchored pictures and inserting new content into the, your book.